everybody, how's it going? So, what we're about to do is knock out the uh, the gunsmith part one quest. So these are all the pieces you need: the plastic pistol grip, laser module, the brake that you need, and then the uh, adapter that you need, as well as the plastic four stock. Now I am actually missing something here. Which is tragic, but that's fine. And that pretty much squares that away. Now I believe we can do any grip, but let's see. Yeah. So there you have it. It's completed. And that's how you complete Gunsmith Part 1. But, outside of that, now what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, head to woods. Why, you might ask? Well, for a little bit of sniping. And we also have to drop off the Iskra ration packs and the water bottle over there in ZB014. So we got that, so we need that and that. And then we need some rounds for the rifle. Pay no attention to how gross my stash is, please. Thank you. Alright, and then we'll grab something to drink for ourselves, and we're going to go ahead and hit it. <clears throat> I'll go for 1700, why not? Also, don't pay attention to how much money I have, alright? It's not about how much money you got, it's about what you can do with it. And I just bought the scab junk box because I'm not going to wait and try and find everything. But regardless, we'll be right back after this uh, loading screen. I'll edit that. All right, everybody. We're back here. Getting ready to deploy into woods. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's not pitch black at 5 o'clock, but you can never guess with the uh, time zones, I guess. But it might work in our favor if it is that dark. Hopefully we get the spawn closest to ZB. We got one that's kind of close to us. So I think the first thing we need to do. Well, once I get my bearings, that's there. That means the upper portion and then camp over that way. Okay. Essentially what we're doing here is we are uh, we're getting out of the, the danger zone that we're in there, pinched in between the uh, village over there and the upper portion of that camp. And we're also trying to avoid PMCs that would have spawned over in USEC. Sniper scav. Sniper scab. Oh, and Sturman. Yeah, don't don't want to talk to Sturman right now. Not super interested in that. Doesn't sound like a good time. So if I figure out where I am. It'll be a little bit easier. So we're right to the right of uh, Sniper Rock here.
pretend I didn't bring meds, because I'm a genius. Hopefully his, uh, his buddy brought some meds. Because I definitely did not. We dropped his buddy somewhere in there. I think that's him right there. Just a light bleed, but that's not boating well. <laughs> Doesn't appear that his friend is coming to, uh, give him any assistance and we need to move before we bleed out. attempt to try and do before we bleed out here, which it's possible that we might. I brought a splint, but nothing else. There's a stash over here we can limp to check, and then maybe, just maybe, oh, you know what we can do? We can hobble our way down here and see if the, uh, We got the one guy. Uh, ammo used eight. Hit count. I hit most of my shots, so I'm cool with that. Hit me with that headshot. All right. Anyways, that's all right. I needed I needed space in my stash. Anyways. Anyways, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and rekit and uh, head back out, and I'll get you all. When we do that, or maybe I'll show the the me actually grabbing medical aid this time. Keep that. Roll with that one. And we'll grab a VPO, because why not? Grab some meds. We're going to actually take... This one. Grab stuff to stop bleeding. And then we'll go back. Um, yeah, no, this is good. Alright. We will be back with y'all shortly. Alright, everybody, we're back. Hopefully we don't... Uh, run into the same issue we just did, but it worked out in our favor, kind of. I didn't have meds last time. Would have been a, a rough time. Uh, not a half bad spawn either. I didn't bring a backpack, so hopefully there's nothing really good in this. Unless it's a backpack. It's a gun right here, I'm calling it. Ah, 
Why not? Don't just go for half a look. Go for the whole look. So I think what we'll try and do is we're going to try and hustle ourselves on down to the, uh, follow the shoreline and then cut across. It'll be a little risky business, but it should be all right. Hopefully nobody's made it to the, uh, the, the rock yet, although it's possible with some of the wood spawns. And, uh... Let's see if we can get done what we gotta get done here. So, uh, if you're just, if you fast forward it a little bit, understandable. We are looking to try and get, I thought that was a scav, we are trying to get over to ZB014 and drop off some of the uh, items for Jaeger's quest, which happens to be the Iskra ration pack and the water bottle. Like I said, we're going to hope that nobody's made it to this rock here, because that could be bad news bears for us. Or if they have, hopefully we can get a flank on them. Push through this little bit of tree line as quick as we can. Sign. Yet to be determined. And then our hurdle, if we survive this portion, is the bunker itself, which can really be a hot spot and also Sniper Rock because everybody loves Sniper Rock for some reason. Sniper Rock is looking pretty A-OK. -okay. But now it's crossing the road. Some of this micro terrain to our advantage as we move up here. Everything's looking hunky dory so far. Oh, saw some movement, I think. Not a fan of that. Don't like that. But we'll make it work. stuck between a <laughs> rock and a hard place rock and a hard place all right hey uh if there's any oh. No, sir. Oh, what? 
Mr. Scab Man just shot me through a wall? All right. Hey, man. You know what? Scabs are just built like that. It's fine. What do I know? Maybe we shouldn't take a, a long rifle or a short rifle, I guess, in that, in that gun's case, into this with us. Maybe we should take a, a little bit more firepower. Something with a little bit more oomph. Let's uh, take a look at what we got here. through my handy dandy backpacks. So with that on, we'll take the SKS. Some pistols there. Throw on the M32s and a helmet because I don't particularly want to get shot in the head by a scav again. Load up our SKS with some PS rounds grab yet more meds. Actually, you know what? We might go a little bit cheaper this time with a Kallok, a bandage or two, and some painkillers down here. And uh, we'll give it a go again. Oh, forgot the most important piece. Where are you? There it is. And that's the look. All right. Here's to uh, not getting destroyed by scavs. Be back with you. All right, everyone. <laughs> I mean, here we are again. You know, it's woods. It's giving us a hard time. That's just the way things are. Spawned pretty close. We spawned up over by uh, Scab Cabin, so we're gonna make our way over to here to see if we can drop down and get this uh, quest knocked out. I'm not seeing any scabs, so. That's always a benefit, but like we saw last time, there could always be one that just appears. So, you know. Looking golden, looking golden. Alright. Okay. We'll do this real quick. Loot the crate and plant the water bottle. And we should be uh, good as gold. Didn't like that sound. All right, and that's survivalist path done. I mean, the what's in the box?
sounds like Sherman's here, though. It sounds like Sherman is, uh... Busy hurting people, but it sounds like he's here. What is that? Nothing. What is that scab doing? Is that a scab? Yeah, it's a scab. Card. For those of you who don't know, Keycard can spawn in here, I think, or at least it used to. That could have changed. Anything's possible. Take that. Very cool beans. Money. Sherman's not over in the camp. He, uh, well, it's not. Bleh. If it's not Sherman, it's definitely Sniper Scav or somebody up in Sniper Scav's spot. <laughs> oh, my. Alright. Oh, he was right next to me. That's alright. We got the quest done. That's all that matters. I should have been playing a little bit slower. What did he shred me with? Ah. What was that? Nine by nineteen AP. Yeah, that'll that'll do it. That'll that'll make it happen. Wasn't much I could do against that one. So you know, haven't survived any of the raids, but it is what it is. Head over to Jaeger and turn this in. We gotta dehydrate ourselves. I don't I don't like this one. This one gives me the the uh cool, more money. Speaking of which, I think I need to head to my hideout. And you guys are about to see the state my hideout's in. It's not a good one, but there's worse ones, so, you know. Come on. I should have it pretty much. I should have some of the stuff at least to level two. Excellent. Fuel for days. Shouldn't I be able to craft? What is this? The mag box? Yeah, we'll need that. Oh, that's easy. Okay.
Cool beans, cool beans. All right, we can make all this happen. Primary thing that I'm going to be looking to make is probably our grenade case here and our mag case here. Mag cases sell for a decent amount and wipes past. That is how I made most of my money. How? How oh, you make glycerin out of the fat from the sausage. The salt, maybe? To cure it, and then the acidity of the cleaner. Cool stuff. We got all that. What do we need for rest base level two? Nutrition? Got enough for our intelligence center, huh? Need intelligence and what are you? Topographic survey maps. Interesting. Uh, shooting range, not super interested in building it, but if we get the stuff later on, we might. All right. So we're going to take this. We're going to do part two of Gunsmith. It needs the 60 rounder, which... I don't know what ammo that has in it, but no. need the 60 rounder. You need... A RP1. You need this right here. And there you go. You have, at least I think that's everything. Let's go see. Mechanic task, gunsmith part poo. <laughs> part poo. All right, and then we'll go into uh, how to do this. So for this one, this is a loyalty level one trade, I believe. But also you can find it pretty commonly out and about. Let's see. It's not proper that sells it. Is it mechanic? It is mechanic. So mechanic, you can get this for 2D batteries, one green battery. For the charging handle which is that little circular piece that just pops onto the rifle there. That is, let's see here, is it skier? I don't think it's skier, but it could be. One of the traders sells at loyalty level one. But uh, really, the most difficult thing to get is that 60 round mag. Now, if you haven't done ice cream cones yet you can as I haven't as you can see you cannot trade for it however you can buy them off of the flea and you can also find them scattered around in certain loot spawns I think the easiest one or at least in previous wipes has always been the ZB bunkers to find them I'm pretty sure I found this one under fort not under for it, but over there by where the extract is right above that, there's that weapons case. You can get a uh, random weapon spawn there. Pretty much anywhere that spawns attachments can spawn one of these. Um, for that grip, all you got to do is buy that from Peacekeeper Loyalty Level 1, and then you can turn it in. Do, do, do. And with that get an easy amount of items. Can't beat that, right? Then we have signal part one. Okay, signal sources. Uh, the MP5 one, 50 round extended mag, silencer, tack flashlight. A little bit more difficult, but still doable. All right, we are looking a little rough here as far as guns and ammo are going. That's okay. We can make do. Got 
Got some ACP in that. All right. So we're going to toss meds in here. Got the bare minimum stuff to be somewhat successful if we get lucky and this scav doesn't just absolutely destroy us. Grab some bleed stop. We'll grab a bandage. And uh, go about our merry little way here. So I think what we'll try and do is knock out this here quest on customs. I think this one will be a, uh, a come up raid. We'll try and get a gun and then we'll use the parts that we got in the stash to add to that gun. I could just buy one, but meh. Why do that when I can just take one? The cool thing now, the last wipe, uh, I can't remember which wipe they added in the scav weapon durability, but most of them are just trashed and you couldn't fix them in previous wipes. This wipe you can, so it gives you a little bit more opportunity opportunity I would say to grab weapons from scav scav bosses things of that nature and excel with those items so that is what we are going to try and do this will probably be the uh, the last raid for this episode as you know storage and editing times and all that jazz but with that talk to you guys when we hit the raid alright everybody Dropping back in, like I said. <clears throat> Sorry, I think I'm coming down with a cold or something. But uh, with that, going to hit this raid. It's probably going to be a come up raid. Try and get what we can to uh, come up, shall we say. And uh, yeah, we'll just see generally how it goes. I'm going to pop in here and check this out. Maybe we can get something with a little bit of a uh, better caliber. Free money. Love to see it. I don't know about you guys, but oftentimes I am not generally one for the uh, the most meta builds in the game. I'm just gonna put this up there. Not a not a bigger caliber. Not what we were looking for. Uh, ooh, was it Eagle Nick? For me, you shouldn't have. But. I like building guns the way that I want them to look. I've, if something looks cool, I'll probably use it. If something looks ridiculous, I'll probably use it. That being said, let's see uh, what we can get into here. I can't see you, Mr. Scab Man. Oh. Magazines, funny man. I don't know if this helmet was already broke when I put it on or not. <laughs> All right, we're gonna push up. Was he trying to shoot me with? Was that a Taz? It was a Taz. His backpack is full. That's not what we want. Try and make this quick, fast, and in a hurry. Bring 
my key because I'm a genius. All right. Well, scratch that. We carry on. Forgot to run his pockets. Painkillers for free. And we'll run his pockets and then we'll carry on. Nothing. All right. Kind of rounds to the end of this rifle. Should I loot the filing cabinets? Yes. Am I going to? No. Not right now. Sugar. Just trying to help me survive. That's a good guy. Foggy, which I'm not a fan of in the slightest. Like the left's clear. This is a. Oh, I was gonna say this is an eerily quiet raid, but you know, never mind. Pop up here real quick and see if we can get a eyes on anybody coming for us. I didn't hit. Did I? No, I'm just really confused about why I haven't seen anybody. I mean, I guess I shouldn't hate on it, but I can't imagine me just dropping scavs and getting dropped by scavs is the most entertaining content. Oh no. I don't know why my game decided to do that when I saw that scab, but not a fan. Just fine then. I'm really worried about a scab getting up on that. All right, grenade launcher, because that's going to be a bad time. Oh boy.
I really have I really hope he kept going because that boy was looking extra thick. I don't know where that man went. That's terrifying. We won't worry about that. We'll continue on about our business, I suppose. Is that unwise of me? Probably. Do I care? No. Speaking of which, though. I'm a little nervous. Up. Where are my extracts? Clear over there. Take out our handy dandy shotgun and make the push. Juked the shit out of me. Holy shit. And the stutters. Stutters didn't help. Time to clear the cash. Alright, everybody. We'll be back. Stay tuned for the next episode.